you have entered the plumbing business success zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 345th episode of Potty Talk Live. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing, how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing business. And we got a great episode for you. Yeah. I'm looking forward to talking about this subject. In fact, okay. the, the title of our episode is... Your warehouse on wheels, mm -hmm. all right? It's a big okay. deal. That's a lot mm -hmm. of confusion there. What, what what do I need to have in my truck? What do I have I in my truck? What, how do I keep track of the stock on my truck? All that kind of stuff. <laughs> well, we're going to cover it here. Yes. Okay. We actually covered this subject um, three or four months ago, but it was technical difficulties, and it crashed and burned. So Yeah, hopefully uh, we, do. we don't have technical difficulties on yeah, this episode. We got it. All we right, but it hey, now. it's great to have you here already. Mm -hmm. They're signing in. Hey, mm -hmm. if you're watching live, type live in the comments. Let mm -hmm. us know you're a part of the live social audience. Mm -hmm. Glad you're here live with us. Mm -hmm. If you're catching the replay, please type replay. Yes, Let us know please. you caught the replay. And if you, oh you're listening to the podcast, you know what to do. Mm -hmm. Just keep on listening. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. Okay. Hey, Cleet. It's good to have you here. Hey, Cleet, welcome, yes. mate. Good to have you back here. Under. All yes. right. Mm -hmm. Hey, we got Chris, Chris is in the house live with us here. Ah, <gasps> yes. Hey, while we're, while we're having him checking in live here, look, mm -hmm. let, let me get to your question. Hey, Bobby. Okay. Bobby. From Jersey. Mm -hmm. All right. Jersey boys. All right. Our Jersey mm -hmm. boys are in the house. Mm -hmm. Hey, a uh, question for, uh, for everyone here tonight what? here. What um, vehicle platform, all right, mm -hmm. do you operate... Um, um, from for a service. That makes okay, sense. meaning what what service truck do you use? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, I guess it could, been, it could have been an easier way of saying that. What service truck do you yeah. use? Do you use a, okay. a Sprinter or do you use a Transit? Trans, do you use right. a cargo van? Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Whoop, whoop. All right, hey, the family plumber is All in the right. house. Good to have from you here. Surprise, Arizona. Love All right, it. good. Oh. Welcome. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, I like, you know, with, uh, you know, we're going to talk about this warehouse on wheels. Hi, Crystal. Hey, welcome, Crystal. And so, you know, I, we use the Mercedes, you know, sprinters. sprinters. Back in the day. Okay, back when they came kind of, it kind of first came out, mm -hmm. which I thought was a great platform right. to work out of. Because you could walk in it. Tall, right, we got the tall, the we got things. the high roof, all mm -hmm. right, so the guys can walk in, which is very important. Mm -hmm. I know we have, you know, they were kind of the first to kind of come out with that, you know, the, the high the high roof. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could do the box truck and that kind of thing, but it looks so big <laughs> in Mrs. Jones's driveway, mm -hmm. you know, it kind of, you know, makes Mrs. Jones uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like the, the sprinters, the mm -hmm. transits, you know, they kind of, mm -hmm. you know, they, they fit in the driveway. Um, even if we're, you know, we, we kind of like to park in the street, yes. but but it doesn't look like you have this big, uh, you know, semi truck in front of them. Hey, Mike. You know, Mike's front, his first time house. live. All right, hey, Mike. Welcome, welcome Mike. brother. Welcome. Mm -hmm. You know, so I really like the Sprinters. Yes. Because they can stand up in them. We could get a couple <laughs> water heaters in it. Literally, it's like a little warehouse. The Ford right. Transits, Matt. Yes, All so right. Ford Transits. Okay. Yes. You know. And we soon found out how expensive. On the Sprinter's world. Well, yeah. here's the Mercedes. <laughs> you know, that's that's something you you, you hey, do Alex. want to consider the Nissans, all right? The, Nissan the low roof. roof. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the transits, the Chris's, mm -hmm. the, uh, the and transits Sprinter. and the Sprinter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we, we, you know, back in the day, it was, <laughs> it was you know, the Mercedes before. Mm -hmm. Um, it was a Mercedes who did the Sprinter. Mm -hmm. You know, they came from Europe, you know, that kind of a thing. Right. And it was before they were Should licensed, else? Dodge, you know, licensed them, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but, uh, you know, so we had the diesel engines, which I thought was cool for right. the winter and all it's that. It's so cool. Diesels are so cool until... <laughs> well, until the guys put gas, you know. Regular unleaded <laughs> gas, gas in. Then it's, then it's five grand a pop to <laughs> clean the ejectors, pull everything and clean the ejectors. Wait, how many times then, did it happen? It and happened. the plumber's calling like, I don't know why, I just got gas and I don't right. know why like, the, the oh. truck just stopped. And we're uh, like, oh, yeah. oh, we do. Okay. We know why. Okay. I want <laughs> the, the Canon, Canon electric, electric van. van. Huh. Is that a real thing? Okay. An electric van. Okay, yeah. Live oh. Tri-Valley Plumbing in the house. Transit hey, high roof. There we go, mm -hmm. Dennis. All right. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, I loved it. The guys loved working out of them. It's a nice billboard, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of a thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know. Ooh, so, look what Alex just did. Just put an order for two uh, ProMaster high Alex, roofs. There we right. go. All Alex right. And Sandra, Alex, way to go. Way to Push go. them forward. Yes. Okay. Yeah, grab them. Mm -hmm. that's, you know, yeah, grab them while you can. That's how winning's done. Okay. Chevy Silverado, Chevy Express Series, says okay. Magdalene. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I know you got other stuff there, <laughs> right? Yes, Ford Transit's Ford, for yep. Kathy yep. and Copeland's out of San Antonio. San Antonio. <laughs> DW says we'll take what we can get. I guess what? that's the question too. Is everybody uh, has, has anybody noticed that it's lightened up being able to get trucks or vans? Is it oh, is it getting a little bit easier? A little easier. Yeah. Now DW, I, they went. Uh, he's gone all the way. I love his his platform. He uses the um, that gone at the um, um, uh, DW. Help box. me here. Uh, oh. That gone it. Uh, uh, I can I can see it in my mind. <laughs> in the DW. World. DW. Hey, look, hey, Shelby, look for DW's comment. What what trucks you have there? The um, Hackneys. Hackneys. There we go. <gasps> oh, golly. Right. Yes, the hack and that's a big right big billboard. But mm. yeah, it's and a it's a nice billboard, nice mm -hmm. truck, uh, platform to work out of. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get a lot of gear in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little warehouse. Mm -hmm. Hackney, Hackney baby. Hackney baby. Thanks. That's right. Sorry, Doug. But DW is pushing forward. They're getting what they can get. I mean, mm -hmm. they're ordered at the Hackneys, but they come across some other stuff. You know, I, that is kind of the thing right now, guys. Don't wait until the trucks, you know, the, your favorite trucks and all are, are kind of available. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, you you gotta you gotta get what you can get right now. It'd right. be more important to get get a truck and get a button that truck so you can get it you know into Mrs. Jones's driveway. Correct. Than, than waiting and, and trying to find you know mm -hmm. the perfect right team. Yeah. what what you really like. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you may have to do some searching, guys. Get out there and search. Okay. Yeah. Um, Nani's around here. Aaron right. Says, yeah. Right. Yeah. You may. Some people are going to different states and traveling and right. all the things. Right. So, right. So, mm. you know, there we go. Okay. But, but it's important, you know, mm -hmm. what, what you work out of it. Because literally what we're, what we're for, you know, pushing towards is this idea of, of having your warehouse on wheels. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have all these little mini warehouses. Okay. It's kind of like the, you know, you guys remember back in elementary days, back way back when well, my age. Remember the bookmobile? Oh, my. The yes. little library that would come around to your no elementary school. No one remembers the bookmobile. Oh, right. <laughs> and the bookmobile. Oh, my I used to be so excited when the bookmobile well, came. Well, sure. I'm going to go look. But you know, it's like a little library <laughs> on, on wheels, and you can it go was. in. It you know, you walk in, and right. yeah, it's a library on wheels. Right. Yes, it pulled up to your little town. Okay. And, mm -hmm. and it would have the most common <laughs> books, and that kind of wouldn't have everything. But what right. was most common? Mm -hmm. We'll get to that. It was mm -hmm. the same, but it's the same kind of idea. You know, as we transition, <laughs> a lot of us, you know, transitioning from like new construction and that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. and we think we got to have this big warehouse. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, you don't need a big warehouse. Okay. Actual warehouse, not warehouse. Like a big, yeah, not yeah, a big actual, actual warehouse. Right. Okay. If you got, mm -hmm. if you got a warehouse and you got a bunch of pot and stuff in the warehouse um, you know that you're, that's just uh, you wasted know, money wasted money right yes. okay call me and okay. we'll come and help the lovely Laura will come out and throw all that stuff out <laughs> okay and you think well oh, it's, it's worth something it ain't worth no, it ain't worth Jack you know take take the, the you know metal and stuff to scrap and mm. the copper and that kind of thing right. throw out the PVC mm. and I love it the guys hold on all this stuff you know that four by three Y for the one time we may need it and the guys aren't going back to the shop to get it and look for it okay mm -hmm. okay all right the babes remember the bookmobile all right Right there, all right, and so excited about the babes. They're, they're, well, we can't, I don't think I, we should I, say I can't it. Tell, but they're doing so cool. Talk about stepping out, making Fun, pro moves, things. Um, yes. cool things that they're doing. Mm -hmm. Up in Mankato. Also, I saw Roadrunner uh, Plumbing was on here. Yes, they got something cool happening too. I know. I, don't, I can't yes. say either. Congratulations, okay. guys. Oh, did we oh, go fuzzy? We, we Ooh, just went fuzzy. What happened there? Oh, was that us? Shelby, <laughs> was that right? That, right. right. What, what are we drinking here? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. all right. So, but this yes. idea okay. and the service to, to run most efficiently is mm -hmm. to take that, not have all that warehouse stuff in, in inside your shop, right. you know, that kind of a thing, right. but to get it in your trucks, okay? Now, that can be a little overwhelming, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, what what do we need and all that kind of stuff, how mm -hmm. we do it? Well, that's what we're going to cover. So let's hit it. All right. You ready? It. You red eye? You ready to do it? I'm along for the ride, baby. Okay, let's do Always. it. Okay. All right. Warehouse on wheels. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's hit our first point. Number one. <laughs> Number one. Shelby, hit it. Here she there goes. we go. Stock for the common. Mm -hmm. Okay, for stock. the common good. Stock for the <laughs> no. Okay. Well, it's kind of for the common good. Right. Stock, stock the common items. Okay. okay, what's most commonly used? Mm -hmm. You know, one one of the things we you know we kind of get guys to overcome is well we got this you know like a, a four by three Y example. I may mm -hmm. need a four by three Y. Well, how many times do you need a four by three Y? What about a four by three X? Oh, y, right? Okay, X. Okay. Just <laughs> okay. Oh, well, four yeah, by three yeah. dielectric union, right? <laughs> Shut okay. Up. All right. Okay. <laughs> Little inside joke no, there. Sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, but uh, what the common stuff? Okay. Um, I know there's all these different kinds of jobs, but you really look at what are the common, you know, the, the common things, mm -hmm. the common repairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what? What you know the common repairs. You know the toilets. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kitchen sink. And what's the common okay. common parts that you're replacing on the common toilets? Mm -hmm. Okay, not that specialty toilet. 
Okay, mm -hmm. that one, you know, one time, you know, even a, you know, every other week or so, or, or a month that you may work on a certain kind of toilet mm -hmm. or whatever. No, just the what what is common. Right. Okay. Common in your area. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, the common finishes. Okay, that's where a lot of guys get all caught up in that. Yeah, the different types of faucet finishes, right? Right. I need, you know, the, you know, we have chrome, mm -hmm. brass, rough brass. Mm -hmm. You know, do we sell, you know, bronze, bronze whatever the mm -hmm. different Venetian bronze, all that <laughs> other kind. No. Okay. Yeah. What well, what's common in your area? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, even coming down, then you know, to the fixtures. Okay, you're not going to have a whole line of toilets. Mm -hmm. Okay, we only stock up the two-inch PVC and up three quarters of copper and PEX. Mm -hmm. there, there, there we go. Mr. That, that's says. Com common in your area. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Now, Ooh. so you know, like the common toilets. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, not all, not a whole range of specialty toilets. Right. You're not going to have every faucet. Okay, you know, are you a Delta town or a Moen town mm -hmm. or a Price Fister town? Whatever is common in most of the homes, okay, in your area, in, 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 your, in your area, mm -hmm. okay. So, and and you're not going to carry. So, say we like from Indy, that's actually where Delta's out of corporate offices, mm -hmm. okay. So that's where so, we had our plumbing business. So that's where we had our plumbing business. So right? Delta Delta was obviously big mm -hmm. in, in Annapolis, okay. Mm -hmm. So, but we're not going to stock every Delta faucet. <laughs> Okay, you're not going to have every Delta faucet on your truck. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going to have the standard, the normal, you know, if you have a kitchen sink faucet, the normal, you know, we did have, you know, two handle chrome, that was the common finish, mm -hmm. you know, a single handle chrome and mm -hmm. a pull out chrome. Mm -hmm. You see where we're going with this? I see okay, where we're going you, with you this. Want, we want to simplify that. What, what's common? Mm -hmm. Okay, and for the uncommon things that you don't have on your truck, you're going to go get and you're going to charge for that time right. to go get charge it. Charge for the time. Okay, mm -hmm. you're going to charge for that time to go get it. Mm -hmm. So thus, you know, um, you know, vintage faucet. We call it vintage faucet repairs. You get all the, you know, you're not going to have every stem, seat and stem mm -hmm. in the world on your truck. Mm -hmm. It ain't going to happen. Right. Nor, nor are you going to spend your time trying to figure out how to get every seat and stem on your truck. Mm -hmm. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. It's a waste of money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you know, for the special seat and you know seats and stems or whatever. You know, that's why it could charge for a vintage faucet repair. It could cost 900 bucks. Mm -hmm. You guys got to go get it. Because the mm -hmm. parts are, you know, you know, 50 bucks, but at the time it takes, it takes you two hours to go get it. Mm -hmm. Nine, it is what it is. You're going to mm -hmm. charge for that time. It's just how it is. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you're going to stock for the, com um, the common. Mm -hmm. Also, every truck's going to be the same. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. What we say, Aaron says, there's uh, we we're a mutt town. town. They have every <laughs> every brand of faucet you could think of. Every crap I've ever even heard crap of. Crap I've never even heard of. <laughs> I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call bullshit on that, Aaron. Okay. That every town is that way, and it could be kind of that kind of that, that kind of <laughs> stuff. There is a common um, thing. I guarantee you, when the houses are being built, mm -hmm. Delta or you know Bradford Whites or whatever you know Kohler. Is, is in that town pushing the stuff, okay? Guys are getting the, the deals, okay? And that's what's there, okay? And so that's how, that's how you're going to stock. Mm -hmm. Don't look for these excuses, okay? Don't do the plumber thing and freak out on me, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> All right? It, it, there, is, there is a way of doing this, yes. okay? Mm -hmm. Stock for the common. And Correct. every truck is the same, mm -hmm. okay? Every truck is the same. Meaning? Meaning... Every, all the same parts are on the same truck. Mm -hmm. Don't let a guy who's uh, you know a specialty and you know and vin, you know vintage faucet repair mm -hmm. allow him to stock different things on his truck. No, no. Or the guy the guy just likes installing a certain kind of toilet or whatever, so he mm -hmm. gets those parts on his truck. <laughs> all right. No, mm -hmm. you decide. Okay. You every truck every truck is the same. Mm -hmm. Every truck is the same. And it's okay? your truck. Right. And so you're gonna make a, you're gonna make a list of the things. Mm -hmm. That, that, that you have in, on the truck, okay? In fact, mm -hmm. fact, we had a, a sheet that had all the different, you know, it was by category. Of I the now different recommend parts. using maybe the tablet for that now. <laughs> you, you can have, have the tablet, mm -hmm. but I'm, well, I'll, I'll get to that. All right. Okay, I'll, I'll get to that. Yeah, you can put it on the, on the mm -hmm. tablet, mm -hmm. okay? But well, I'll get to that. Okay, because it's easy. It well, I know, but it's easy now to make like a Google, Google form. The old homes have all kinds. New mm -hmm. homes have mostly Delta. Mm -hmm. We only stock Delta repair. Good, yeah, Aaron. Yes. Okay, that's right. Yes. And the old homes pay for it. When you think, well, it's old stuff, and, and they're not going to want to pay for it. And then it's tough. It's, there's a there's <laughs> a price. There's a price. You know, you can either pay nine hundred bucks to get the Delta, the old piece of crap repaired, mm -hmm. or you can get a new Delta faucet. You know, for five fifty. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Hey. All right. Mm -hmm. So that, that's the thing. That's the that's how you want to go at it. Okay. Mm -hmm. If we spend our time trying to get all this crap on the trucks and all mm -hmm. that. You're just, you know, it's just a waste, waste of time, time. Waste, waste of time, time and money. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. The vengeance mm -hmm. part will get beat up mm -hmm. in the end. The trash before you actually need it. Yes, <laughs> Alexander. Alex. I try. He's so, he's so smart. It. That's exactly mm -hmm. what happens when you try to get all this stuff. You hit right on it, Alexander. Mm -hmm. We try to get all this crap in the trucks, and we think it's so cool, and we have it all done up and all that. <laughs> the guys are just going to beat that stuff to crap. They're going to throw it around. Mm -hmm. It just gets broken and try. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. DW has it down. Every truck is kept the same. Absolutely. <laughs> Very important for all team members to know where things are. All right. So yes. as you switch guys in and out, or mm -hmm. you know, a guy, you know, um, maybe you know, their truck is down, so you put them in another truck. Right. Everything's the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just like if you, go, I'm sorry, just like you go into a McDonald's restaurant, right? Right. The fryers are the same. The the grills are the same. Everything is laid out exactly the same. Exactly. Right. There's a reason for that. Okay. Watch Watch uh, the founder. Right. Right. Great. There we go. Honda, that made me think of it. Right. Uh, the movie The Founder. That's a great movie that. Talks about, about systemizing and right. all that. Anyway, okay. Mm -hmm. And so you have a little planogram, okay? So you're going to have that the the flappers are on the second shelf on, in bin, you know, a bin five, mm -hmm. okay? And that's where the flappers go. That's where the flappers go. Not that the, you know Joe wants to put it, you know, on the right side of the truck, you know, on the third shelf on you know bin ten. No, you die, okay? <laughs> <laughs> they go uh, always in the same spot, okay? Always in the same spot, okay? Part of this is building this off of, right. You're building this culture, mm -hmm. okay? All yes. right? This, this is how it is, yes. okay? Mm -hmm. But but it can be done that way, mm -hmm. all right? Kay. So, you know, stock for the common. Yes. Okay? Can I also say, just as right. a side note, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and hit the like oh. button. That always helps. And also on Facebook. Facebook likes when we get lots of likes. So help like us out us. here. Help us to get this yes, word out. Absolutely. So like and so other follow and all those owners things. Just like you. Thank you very much. And Shelby says never miss an episode. Turn on notifications right now. Never miss an episode of Potty Talk Live when we go live. Yeah, you get know. notified. There you go. All right. Okay. Thank you. Commercial breaks over. All right. Here we go. All right. <laughs> That's so that very important. Stock for the common. Okay. okay. And there is a common. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you much rather have just a few things in the truck than have a whole bunch of crap in the truck. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So that there is a common. Don't get wrapped up in all the specialty jobs and mm -hmm. you know the pipe thing. You know we just had a we had a 10 inch stick of of um, three inch, and then a 10 inch stick of uh, two inch PVC went in that, and then we had a 10 inch stick of inch and a half in that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you know we had some PEX pipe that went inside of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, you just keep it down to that. Well, what if I have a remodel job and I need 20 foot of pipe? <laughs> well, then you then you're going to charge for that and go to the supply house and pick it up. And you're charging for your time, all right? But but try to have a 300 foot of half inch, you know, PEX pipe stuck into the truck for the for the time you're gonna have a remodel or doing something like that. It's just plain crazy, okay? So there we go. So and you're not gonna have it all, in, you know, in your shop either. No. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So when you buy that roll of, of PEX pipe, you know, when you figure it out and mm -hmm. you know you need a you know 100 foot of roll and you, you buy that 150 foot roll, okay? All right. You're going to throw the 50 foot out. What? You're going to throw the 50 <laughs> foot out. Because what you do is you wind up taking it, letting the guys take it back to the shop and it collects in the shop and all that stuff just grows and collects dust and dust mites and all it causes COVID <laughs> and all this you know, bad stuff happens. Okay? And the guys never remember that it's you in the never, shop. You never use it. <laughs> never. You never use it. In 30 years of being around this stuff, I mean, I've been in shop after shop and the shops have worked out whatever. It's just crap from, you know, when, when you know, the owner's, you know, great grandpa came across the ocean and started the plumbing business. They got, they get, still got stuff in the shop. Shop, you know from that okay <laughs> charge for it okay charge for that 150 foot roll of, of uh, PEX <clears throat> pipe you heard me right charge for that 150 foot roll <laughs> Excuse of, me. of uh, PVC pipe okay. or PEX pipe okay. mm -hmm. that's what carpet you know carpet does that mm -hmm. and other things do that they charge for that whole right. that whole thing mm -hmm. okay and then you throw out the rest okay well that's wasteful <laughs> Donate it then to Goodwill. Right, or take it to Goodwill. Right, right. All right, send it to China where people, I know, whatever it is, okay? <laughs> All right. But we're talking about keeping things clean and simple, simple. here. Yes, and okay? systemized. All right, mm -hmm. so stock for the common. Okay. Hey, I have a, I, this is one of my greatest pet peeves, and this is where I see guys just get all bogged down and spend a lot of time, 
um, getting all worked up about what's in the truck, mm -hmm. which has nothing to do with taking care of Mrs. Jones. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I know we can argue about it and say, well, they gotta have the stuff there. And, uh, 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 uh. That voice. No, what happens yeah. is, is we get all focused on what's in the truck. Mm -hmm. What's in the truck, and we we make it all about making what's in the truck. Mm -hmm. Again, that has nothing to do with taking care of Mrs. Jones, mm -hmm. and it's tough enough to get the guys to focus on taking care of Mrs. Jones. Mm -hmm. But we get them all worked up about, well, you gotta have the exact number of flappers. It says here that you have six flappers in your truck. Why do you only have three? <laughs> And we're all over the guys for where are the three flappers? Oh are you doing side jobs? Please you know? stop with that voice. Okay. I swear. Please <laughs> but, stop. <laughs> but I've seen it time and time and time and time and time and time again. And we get all worked up about that. And we take an eye off what's really, really, really important. Mm -hmm. And that's taking care of Mrs. Jones. Correct. Okay? Yep. So. Okay. Stock for the common. Yes. All right. Guys need to understand to charge for the full part because now the part is, is useless. Once you steal from it. Yes, exactly right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We see that with, you know, walk into shops and they'll have, they'll have boxes. In fact, this happens in the trucks, you know, with uh, the Delta faucets or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they'll steal, they'll rob from the box, mm -hmm. you know, the uh, um, seats and springs, mm -hmm. you know, from the, from the box mm -hmm. and then, you know, a Delta or whatever, mm -hmm. the repair parts. We're thinking, well, I'll replace them. I'll get, when I do get some, I'll repair them. They never do. Never. Okay, all right. And so we wind up holding all this crap that we're going to do. Mm. Nope, throw it in the scrap, try mm. to get some, you know, right. whatever. And okay. move on. And move on, okay. Mm. okay. All right. Okay, number two. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Pay as you go. Pay as you go. Okay. What? Pay as you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. One of the quickest ways to get in trouble, especially starting out, all right, is having this, you know, 30 day, same as cat, you know, cash deal with the supply house. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yes. All right. You're collecting as you go from, that's why we're having Mrs. Jones pay today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pay as you go. Yes. All right. Pay as you go. Yes. And I'm sure a lot of you experience where if right. you're on a 30 day um, payment plan with the, with the where, or it's warehouse, with the supply, supply house. house, thank you. Um, all of a sudden you have this huge bill at the end of the month and you've already spent the money for the jobs that was used for, right? Right. And maybe you're slow the last week of the month and all of a sudden you don't have the money to pay it and this is huge, you know, five, ten thousand dollar bill, you know, thirty thousand, whatever it is, and that is overwhelming. It's right. overwhelming. So now there's game there's things you can do like put the money aside every day, like but it forces you then now to have to be on top of how much do we have in parts today and mm -hmm. all that kind of a thing. Right. It's easier just to pay as you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, pay as you go. So you can have a, a debit card, a credit card there at the supply house. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and pay and pay as you go. Correct. So when you use it, pay as you go. Mm -hmm. Big that's mm -hmm. that's a big huge thing. Okay. Wow, I'm one of only three companies in my area that, that pays as as we go. Over hundred companies in my area. Really? Wow. All right. You'll be mm -hmm. so And so glad. they love you. Right. Too. I mean the supply houses, they want money today, just like you want Mrs. Jones to pay you today. Right. Supply houses love when you pay today. It, right. It helps with Because they're normally with waiting on Right. 30, 60 days. And they have to chase the money and all right. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Just pay as you go, okay? Pay as you go. Mm -hmm. um, you'll be glad, you know, with service, it's so up and down, you know, mm -hmm. it can be cyclical. Mm -hmm. And you do, as you mentioned, you get in these low times, and so now you spent money on payroll, or you just happen to take, you know, pay the truck payments, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you have this $30,000, and all of a sudden, you know, now you're just paying part on that, and you get right. behind, you get mm -hmm. behind, you and get behind. And then you can't get parts. Right, and that kind of a thing. They cut you off. Right. right. Pay as you go. Mm -hmm. Right. Just pay as you go. Mm -hmm. um, a word was brought up here. I think I think it was there, and it mentions about consignment. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a work a consignment deal. Definitely. With your okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We, go. we got mm -hmm. a consignment with most most mm -hmm. of used parts. Getting rid of over any anything we have just sitting sitting in the shop. Mm -hmm. Consignment is, and here's what you did. I mean, it was back. This is back before Ferguson did it. I think mm -hmm. I was. I mean, I'm, I think I was one of the first. I think I, you I, invented I certainly, it. I certainly was. No, I was the first in our area you invented it. because I know the bigger, the bigger, um, um, the Public you know, the, the bigger supply uh, houses. Uh, supply houses mm -hmm. You know, like I won't m mention any names mm -hmm. that we literally spent hundreds of thousand dollars in. Mm -hmm. Looked at me like I had you know lobsters <laughs> climbing out of my ear. What the? What are you talking? What? Because when I went to him, I said, <laughs> "Yeah, I noticed you have all these water heaters sitting mm -hmm. in your supply house." Well, instead of them just sitting in your supply house, why don't you mm -hmm. sit them in my supply houses? Mm-hmm. And I'll sell them for you, okay? Yeah. And then when I sell them, I'll pay you for it. Right. I'll okay. Pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. <laughs> right. Well, no, it's just they're just sitting there collecting dust in right. your supply house. Mm -hmm. why, 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 you, why don't you put them in my supply houses, mm -hmm. my bands, mm -hmm. and I'll pay you for them when I sell them. Right. Which is when I reorder it, mm -hmm. then I know I pay 
That's consignment. Yes. Okay. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you know, it may took it took uh, you know it took my fourth supply house. And it was one, one, one that I. And it wasn't one of the bigger ones, mm -hmm. and it was one I really didn't buy a lot of stuff from. Mm -hmm. And they said, "Huh, huh, sure, we'll give it a try." Mm -hmm. Lo and behold, mm -hmm. within a year, mm -hmm. I doubled what I was spending with the other companies. Mm -hmm. They got I mean, all my business, nearly all my business. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't bicker over price. I didn't right. try to get nickel more points diamond. off of a nickel dime them. Right. You know, if their water heaters, you know, were $10 more, I didn't try to get $10 and match mm. it. No. Pay them what? Because my customer, I built it into my price. Customers are paying for it. Mm. All right. But they made it easy, easy to do business. Yes. They deliver the parts the next day. Right. And I didn't have all this cash, this capital sitting in my trucks. Mm -hmm. All right. It was their capital. And mm. then when I sold it, you know, Mm -hmm. We shared then you paid it. for it. Right. Yeah. All right. It's, it's a beautiful, be it's a beautiful it thing. It is beautiful. So you may have to go to a few different supply houses in your area to talk with them about right. it. Right. But okay. you'll find someone that will. Right. And you'll give them all your business. Right. And then mm -hmm. we were doing trips. They were sending us on trips. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have to pay for their stuff until I sold it. And then they were sending us on trips. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So work that deal. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, consignment, a big mm -hmm. deal. Okay. Yes. Matt says, by paying as you go. You get box seating at all the concerts <laughs> by the supply shops, right? That's right. You Little benefits. Yes, guys, they love you. They love sure. because it's the cash that uh -huh. they're getting money, you know, right away, just like you are. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, they they love that. Okay. It's a big deal, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you, world. and you can and you can work these deals, mm -hmm. all right, just like anyone else. Mm -hmm. Just as a, if you are low on a, a common part. Then restock while at the supply house. No need to make thirty trips a day for parts. Amen, Joe. Okay, we'll get we'll get mm. to that too. Oh, okay. so jumping the shark. Okay, he, jumping the shark. You must have seen your notes. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's number number one. Stock for the common. Number two, mm -hmm. pay as you go. Okay. And number three is the biggie here, and I'll get right to that after <gasps> I got an offer here. Of course, I got the <laughs> offer. All right. Appreciate you watching or listening here. All right. It's and it's free, all right. It's my free MDP million dollar plumber blueprint. Plumber. Okay, in it I have all the specs you need to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Mm -hmm. Hey, you you wouldn't you wouldn't um, you know you wouldn't plumb a home, okay, without a blueprint, right? Mm -hmm. So wh why are you trying to create this business without a blueprint? Okay, it's just it's crazy, all right. <laughs> so check it out. Simply type free in the comments, mm -hmm. okay, or go to the million dollar plumber com forward slash free. And grab your free blueprints. There we go. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So number three is. All right. Number three. Mm -hmm. Number three, and this is the biggie. Okay. The biggie. Hit it, Shelby. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> Keep it simple. <laughs> I'm okay. just gonna walk You're... off right now because I know you're gonna go off on a tangent. <laughs> Keep it simple. Okay. <laughs> Keep it simple. Oh. All right. Um, you, you don't have to get all elaborate. Okay. Um, <laughs> You know, with this, I mean, they'll have there unless I know few guys, okay, and I'm not one of them, okay, but I know few guys who can take, you know, the, the complex and, mm -hmm. and, and kind of can make it work. Mm -hmm. We got we got one that's a long time viewer and all that. DW, mm -hmm. you know, a guy like DW, okay, uh, Inception Plumbing, you know, the guy, the guy's a system genius, okay, and he's and a can, genius. And can take something. Mm -hmm. um, he's one of two. Three guys that, that I can on think the of on that I know in my career <laughs> that actually can can make you know take something and and, and make it work you, mm. you know in a, a com, you know a complex way like that mm. okay okay but the problem is as we get into all these wanding systems and trying to get the guys to you know jump through all these hoops and do all this stuff they ain't gonna do it. They are not. Okay, I know it looks fancy mm. and it sounds cool. Well, I just take my phone and I'll just, when the guys can all they do that, <laughs> they ain't going to do it. Okay? <laughs> They're not going to do it. They don't do it. Mm -hmm. And to get them to do it, I mean, we've got to spend all this time focusing on, you guys, you got to want. Now, this is, well, I did all this for you to make it easy. <laughs> all you got, and I gave you the phone. All you got to do is take your phone and want everything and everything's ordered. They ain't going to do it. Okay. Okay. And again, we spend all of our time focusing on that, which has nothing to do with getting the guys to take care of Mrs. Jones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because the guys can only hold two or three thoughts in their head at one time. Okay. They only can do that. Mm. All right. So if, if you're on them about, um, you know, making sure that when it says that there's six flappers, that they have six flappers. 
okay, and to make sure that they sweep the floor, I mean, whatever you know, these different things are mm -hmm. that have nothing to do with you know options, 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 making sure we serve Mrs. Jones and that kind of a thing. They're gonna, they're, they, they're only gonna, you know, they're gonna do those things. They only do a couple things. Correct. Okay. Yes, My, can't I know I'm going them. right. They just. Well, I'm just. Yeah. Just I did, this comes out of you hear the, the passion, or I'm going, I'm going on, you know, maybe jumping the shark here. I'm going crazy <laughs> on you, because this is years, mm -hmm. hundreds of guys. The plumbers, men are no different today. In fact, they're they're weaker, and they're sissier than they were five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty years ago. Okay, it's gotten worse. Mm -hmm. They ain't gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you gotta keep it simple. Yes. If I beat that one down. Okay, uh, and Bob's. you keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Service Titan. And one thing. Why yes, are we talking about yes. Service Titan? Because mm -hmm. you build. You, you know, you build these what they call tasks, um, t t uh, tasks templates, mm -hmm. and that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. So when you build a template, like when we're installing a water heater, mm -hmm. when we got the water heater, we got dielectric unions. You got all know, the uh, parts that are within. Right. That we use in that task. That you, you can build in there, mm -hmm. and then you can run a report. What what Joe? What task did Joe do with the parts or whatever? Mm -hmm. And it spits out what Joe what Joe used. Mm -hmm. Okay. The ba the basic parts. Correct. Okay, mm -hmm. you know th those kinds of things, and then you can send that to your supply house. Send it to Hopefully, supply the one house. that you're doing consignment right. with. Right, and then the next day they send things over, marked with Joe's truck number or whatever mm -hmm. for Joe. Mm -hmm. Shows up in his cubby, mm -hmm. which I, I don't know, that makes sense, mm -hmm. but his area or whatever. And it's, okay, it's in the warehouse. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I gotta sneeze. All right. Bless you. No, it's gone. Or the hell okay. with you. That's what <laughs> take with All right. DW, thank you, Richard. Is spot on. Take it does take a lot of energy, even if you have a great system. And it still requires somebody to manage the people running the system. Correct. And DW is one that has it down. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, if you want to, um, if you want to talk to someone about who does, I mean, he has the Hackney trucks. It's beautiful. Everything is a place. He has the system, mm -hmm. and they have the ability. It's so pretty. They, they stay. They can stay up. If anyone that I, that I give a, a, a blessing to, which I give or a pass. like a, pa a pass. A pass. There we that? go. <laughs> it's, it's DW. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, everybody else forget. He's it. one of again. I'm serious. In, in my career. And I'm not included in this. Um, one of maybe three. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking of guys very quickly that are mm -hmm. just that, that are on it, mm -hmm. that, that can do it. Mm -hmm. But overall, it's tough to get your guys to do it and to, and to have the system so down, mm -hmm. okay, and the communication so down that, that you're on it. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you can keep it simple, like this. Mm -hmm. and service Titan makes it easy. Makes it very because easy. Of, because of the task. Yes. And then. You know, as I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. is we just had the sheets. In fact, we had. You kill me um, every time you say this. But we had we actually had a sheet. Now you can do it now. You could do it with your tablet. In a tablet. And ladies, there right. are most of the ladies. If you're working with your husband in, in the business, working with your husband, not for your husband, with your husband, um, more than likely, you know, you do a Google form, and you put it right on the tablet, and it can be right, right there, and they can go through to, to do it. Add the the things that they want to order that are outside of what was done on the task. Yeah, like say, right? like you know. In, you know, I need more copper. I've used up my, you know, my stick of three-quarter copper, mm -hmm. and you know, and then guys will have a little bucket at the end where they'll have pieces, you know, parts and you know that mm -hmm. kind of stuff that they can pull from or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I run out of that. But I, so I, I need some more three-quarter inch, uh, you know, nineties. Yes. Um, so just have a form on the tablet or whatever. Yes, okay. have a form on the tablet that they can submit, and it goes right to whoever in your office that takes care of the ordering. Easy. We used to do it on paper. It was we on did. a clipboard and all that. We but did clipboard, right. that was back in the day. We did have to like carve it into stone and then send smoke signals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was before fax even. So you know, right? We do smoke signals to the supply house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. <laughs> okay. okay. All, right. <laughs> all right. But human nature is still the same. Okay. The guys, it's tough enough to get them to do that. Mm -hmm. And how we did it, which leads to this, the second part of keeping it simple. Mm -hmm. Okay, is building a culture where the tech is responsible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ultimately, you know, you want to make the tech responsible for everything, and when I mean everything, I mean everything. Mm -hmm. Like, um, you know, if the job goes south, they're digging themselves out. Okay, um, if they got to get, you know, dealing with the city, they're dealing with the city. Okay, mm -hmm. um, they're responsible, and ours, you know, one of it, you know, we've, we've talked about before, Monday morning meetings. 
you talk about your three non-negotiables. Mine were options, options, options. Make good job notes. Mm -hmm. Clean and stock your truck. Mm -hmm. They were minded every week, and they were responsible. I'd go around and do trucks, you know, stocking mm -hmm. or truck inspections, inspections mm -hmm. or whatever. And I'm looking to see are the flappers, and you know, you kind of you you designed it so you kind of know where things are at and kind of what should be there, and mm -hmm. you know, Did you they know when things, things are getting too loosey goosey, that kind of a thing. Right. Always on them with the truck mm -hmm. stock. If I, if I notice a guy is going to the supply house a lot, why the F are you going to the supply house? That's, you know, guys ask, when, when do I lose cool or when do I get on the guys? Mm -hmm. On your non-negotiable. So the truck stocking thing was a non-negotiable for mm -hmm. me. So there's no reason. Why, 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 why does it seem like you're at the supply house all the time? Right. You're not ordering your stuff. You're not, mm -hmm. I mean, you're not even filling out your piece of paper. Mm -hmm. You can't fill out a piece of paper, you're fired. Okay, I don't care you're a master plumber. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got you got to work you got to work the system. Mm -hmm. Okay, so ultimately you may build a culture where the guys are responsible, and what you'll find is the guys will take on that responsibility if you build, if if you build that culture. Mm -hmm. As soon as you go into something to where you're supplying, um, even though we did it when so we had Service Titan and they brought that that you know that ability or whatever can order parts as right. they were growing. Mm -hmm. You know, we were one of the first plumbing companies with Service Titan. Correct. You know, mm -hmm. um, when when they were starting out, mm -hmm. so they brought these things on. We we added it. Mm -hmm. We still made the guys responsible to make sure that they had the water heater on the truck. Right. Not that the service Titan thing didn't work. While the service Titan didn't, well, I, I, I said used it, and you said you used yours. No. Why don't you, Joe? Why don't you have a 50-gallon gas water heater on your truck? You know. Okay. Cause. All right. Step out back with me. <laughs> Let me show you my sword. Right. And I'm going to grab the cannoli on the way out. Okay? It, it's that, okay? Yes, so keeping it you, simple. Right. Keeping mm -hmm. it simple. Mm -hmm. Building that culture. Okay? I know. You're reeling me in. DW, you catch that? She's reeling me in. Because this is so important. Okay? We tried to build. Um, it's great to have these systems. And, of course, here at you know, MDP, we're all about the systems. We want mm -hmm. to systemize mm -hmm. you, you know, your, your plumbing business. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right? But you got to build. A, um, you know, it's great to have all these systems in place. But the business isn't about the systems, mm -hmm. okay? The business is about taking care of Mrs. Jones, okay? So, you know, we, we want to keep the guys focused on taking care of Mrs. Jones. So we, we want to make the guys responsible for some things and not just rely on the system. As soon as the guys get a feel that something else is responsible, mm -hmm. they will back off. Correct. They will totally back off, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So when it comes to stocking the truck, don't use the, you know, let the guys have the excuse, well, you know, I just I haven't had a chance to order, I can't get this, mm -hmm. okay? That's... All right, mm -hmm. they got to be beaten, okay? She seems well rested and fired All right. up. <laughs> All right. I think you're right, Aaron. Hey, this is, this is an area where I see a lot of guys failing, okay, mm -hmm. and getting all wrapped up for mm -hmm. no reason, okay? Mm -hmm. When it is, a, it is a really a simple fix, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. And it is keeping it simple, mm -hmm. okay, which helps make it a simple fix. Mm -hmm. And that the guys are responsible, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. Okay? Like it. All right? Mm -hmm. so, so do it. The okay. Tech, the tech, that's a biggie. The tech is responsible, mm -hmm. okay? I, I, I get, uh, I kind of come unglued when I hear, you know, with my clients or I hear guys, you know, talking about, you know, the whole parts issue and, mm -hmm. you know, and the stuff's not being on the truck and that kind of a thing. Come on, you know, the tech, the tech is responsible. They know what's on the truck. Mm -hmm. Provide them, you know, the list, the build, you know, here, here's what my expectations of the having on the truck, okay? Pro you know, provide them the, um, you know, the guidelines. And provide them the means to be able to order the stuff. And okay. they're not pirate gui guidelines. They're not pirate, you know, the, the, yeah, these aren't pirate guidelines, okay? <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> the, these are the first time, you know, a guy, you know, even just makes a mistake. You're on it. Mm. They got to feel your pressure. That's, that's the time. Look, um, I never, I mentioned earlier about, you know, with the, the diesel trucks, you know, guys putting gas in. I never fired a guy. No. Because he cost me five grand because he put gas in the diesel truck. <laughs> I never even came unglued in mm. front of him. Right. Now, back in my, in my office, I'd go up there and cry. <laughs> you know, and I'd have a few, you know, shut the door. <laughs> pull, Son out, of a... pull out the hot tamales. You know, that's when I'd binge on hot tamales or, you know, Taco Bell. Okay. But, that's so true. But I never went off on the guys. I fired guys on the spot for not having their, tr their truck stocked. And come up with an excuse, well, it's this or that. You're out of here. Right now. Mm -hmm. and you know? The tech should be held accountable for their own jobs. Exactly right. Yes. Lisa, I haven't seen you for a while. Lisa, nice to see you. So This, this is professional plumbing. Mm -hmm. Okay? 
So you got you got to make you got to call these these boys up to men. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about 40 year old men who are you know. Yes. If not, right. you'll be babysitting constantly. You'll be right. You're right. Mm -hmm. If that's what you're into, if that's what you want to do, but that's not what we're all about here at MDP. It is not. Okay. We're about the freedom lifestyle. We're all about the freedom lifestyle. Right. Creating an asset here. Mm -hmm. All right, that, that can run on its own, all right, without you babysitting. Mm -hmm. You can plug and play, mm -hmm. all right, you can create this money machine that a big money machine wants to come in and buy, okay, and you have the freedom lifestyle. Okay? And move to Florida in the MDP compound that we're building. There we go. There you go. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, sure, baby. okay. Feel I can better? feel it. You feel better now? I feel my heart racing. Yeah, I know. You're like, like all... Hey, this is a biggie. This is one of my, <laughs> you, could, you could tell in my day where, you know, BDB would show up. <laughs> Don't ask about BDB. You know, look, guys, you invested all this money. I'm telling you to, you know, buy these trucks and invest all, you know, money in these trucks, and you have all this money in this stock, and you're trying, you know, and you know that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. and you're responsible for all this. All right, you gotta have your guy. You gotta call your guys up to, to take responsibility. Yes, uh, I know when you get better at this. Thanks for the push, mate. All right, welcome, James. All right, James. Okay, you, you can you can do it. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and so can your guys. Yes. Your, your guys can do it uh, on the whole, you know, if you will call them up. Mm. The important thing is, is to, you know, give them, um, you know, what the parameters are, you know, what the expectations are, mm -hmm. give, them, make, give them the ability to be able to order things, okay? Mm -hmm. Did uh, right. some pre workout. I right. don't know, maybe. Right. What is in there? The double shot, okay? <laughs> Yeah, this is the big. I see. I see guys losing themselves in, oh, over this. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're you're losing money and time, and your and your guys are owning you. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in this parts thing. And you're help me help you. I want to right. That's okay, don't about. make mistakes. You know, part mm -hmm. part of this is I don't want you guys making the same mistakes I did for mm -hmm. you know some years. You know, you know for some years I was you know letting the guys you know kind of run things four or five years mm -hmm. where it was just going to the you know. We do, I, did, I didn't have things standardized, mm -hmm. you know, I got caught up in, you know, every, every whim. You know, the guys would say, well, we need this, we need that, we need that. <laughs> you need to get your butt back in the truck and get to the job and take care of Mrs. Jones, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. All right, this this kind of democ I love this democracy thing of having the guys tell you what, well, if you no, should do this. Democracy. Or it's not a democracy. <laughs> it's a dictatorship. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hello. Okay, all right, if you wish to be successful and mm -hmm. keep their job secure, mm -hmm. okay, now I'm not talking. You can't ever have the group talk and mm -hmm. you know that kind of stuff. Right. But you you allow you allow the pack dogs to start telling you what should be on the truck and <laughs> well we should be doing this and I need this and I'm special at this and I want that and with it. You get your butt back in the truck and get out to the job. It's the okay. inmates running the asylum. Right. Right. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I was driving earlier and listening. I was organizing flappers and the other day and found six Kohler shark fin style flappers. <laughs> Laugh out loud. No. When the last That's time I used one of those. Threw them, them all away. away. Good for you. All right, Parker. Micah. Way to go. Way, way, way to go. I love it. You just threw them away. All right. Okay. Just throw it away. All right. It's lost money, anyways. Okay. You, right. You, 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 Thanks, you know. Bobby. Right. Okay. Um, all right. So is that it. it? That's it. Okay. Stock for the common. All right. Pay as you go. Pay. That's a bad. pay as you go. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Unless you're a systems genius like DW. And some of my old guys in the past or whatever. <laughs> Daryl loves people. Which, which, which you are, you know, most of you are not. I mean, and that's not a bad thing. Mm. Okay, you don't, you don't have to. It's not a Correct. bad thing. No. Okay, that's so not going to keep, keep not going to keep you from being very, very, you know, um, successful. Okay. Okay. But you know how they could be successful. How you could be successful. Uh -huh. Hey, if you, if you really want to take yourself and your plumbing business <laughs> seriously, then you need to become a Success Academy member. <laughs> Uh huh. All oh, right. That? Okay. <laughs> Which I go off on these kinds of things there in the academy as well. So if you, you want to hear like more that. about, it. <laughs> all right. It's straight talk. Okay. <laughs> we'll just bring it to you straight. Okay. It's all in there. Okay. <laughs> it is Success Academy. Okay. And, and right now, still. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm still keeping it there, even though it's going, to, it's going to be going away here soon. Here. Yes. 14 day free trial. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to do it. So I make it very easy for you to test and you know check out and try. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, you know, simply type success in the comments or go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash success. Mm -hmm. Okay. And get your 14 day free trial. There we go. Yes. All right. Gang. Okay. And again, be sure to follow, like, get notified, all those things. So we're at whatever device you're, or what your platform. Yes. Keep, keep it simple. Okay. I'm talking into the mic. <laughs> keep it simple. You just cut your head off. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hey, before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you are purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things and to keep it simple. So, as always, come like a champion. Thank you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the million-dollar plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it.
To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now and join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.